Hello! Today, the Healthy Handy Chef is going to make one of the most essential and delicious things that I've come across. It was invented by Barbara, and it, we call it, on the retreats, we call it the crutch, because when we want something really, really delicious, we make this, because it's completely sugar-free. It has no sweeteners whatsoever, but it's delicious and sweet to eat. And it's made of, this is a mixture of melted coconut oil, and cacao butter. And this cacao butter is also melting on the heat of the Rayburn. And the proportions are three coconut oils to one carob, uh, sorry, cacao butter, and then two measures of carob powder and two of almond butter. So it doesn't really matter how much you're going to make but just kind of stick to those rough proportions. If, you, if you're using cups or tablespoons or whatever you're using, just trying to stick to those. And you can add roasted nuts and you can use goji berries for a chewy little bit in there as well. And it's just utterly, utterly delicious. So all you need to do once you've melted the cacao butter and the coconut is you add your almond butter. So it's very, very high in good fat, which as we all know now, is really really good for you and it has no carbohydrate whatsoever which is ideal and it gives you lots of very good clean energy good clean fun that's what this is about and then you just mix in the carob and the good thing with carob powder is it's much sweeter than the cacao so much sweeter than the chocolate so you don't need to put in the sweetener to counteract the business business bitterness of the cacao and you mix it in, now you either have the choice at this point of putting it in the blender so it's really well blended before you put it in your moulds or you can just mix it up roughly like this and then when you pour it in it'll separate which is actually looks lovely when you put it into the moulds because you get the almond butter so it goes to the bottom and gives it a lovely speckled look and then the top is clear and the carob powder you should get is raw because it's much sweeter if it hasn't been toasted. So as you can see, you have this lovely runny, rich runny sauce. And then when this sets, you get two different sorts of texture. You can either put it in the freezer, in which case it'll snap like chocolate, or you can just keep it in the fridge and then it kind of goes creamy and truffly like the inside of a lint those delicious lint balls. There's a little bit of almond butter that's escaped. So I'm not going to blend mine because it's just quicker and easier to show you. Just mixed. So as you can see, I'm not in my own kitchen. I'm in a secret location in the north of England. So I don't have my sexy ice cube trays. I just have a normal one. But also you can use something like this. Whatever you want, whatever you've got to hand, just use whatever you've got to let it set. And I'm also going to just put in a teeny little twist of salt, just a little bit of Himalayan salt. Okay, let's see how this tastes, whether it needs more carob. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. So this is ideal for diabetics or people who've given up sugar and if you want to stay away from carbohydrate completely uh -oh, really difficult to get in packet okay whatever your reasons I can assure you this is a really really delicious alternative to eating chocolate and also some people are susceptible to the stimulating um, eek! Sorry about the abrupt ending, everybody, but my battery ran out. Consummate professional as I am. So there they are. I just put pop them in the freezer, and pop them out of the mould, and they're ready to eat. Thought I'd make them look Christmassy with a little bit of a wreath from the Christmas market that I got today. So I wish you all a very very happy Christmas, and I hope you enjoy your chocolate presentation. It's extraordinary. Okay. Enjoy.